No politics, please, with the Majuli Breeze. During 2012-13, I sat several times with the then Upper Assam Commissioner, Sayyid Iftikar Hussain, to discuss the issue of submitting a dossier on Majuli for the purpose of its inscription as a World Heritage Site. Then, we discussed different aspects related to Majuli and the cultural heritage of the biggest river island. For that purpose, the Majuli Cultural Landscape Management Authority was formed. Then, the authority had the opinion that the cultural heritage of Majuli should be kept intact for the recognition of World Heritage Site. So, the authority did not think about a bridge connecting Jorhat with Majuli. But, the demand was there for a bridge. Now, I am going to talk about the proposed bridge to Majuli and its importance for the people of the river island. It is a talk neither in favour of BJP nor in favour of Congress, but in favour of the people of Majuli. I strongly feel that a bridge is the need of the hour for the people of Majuli. During monsoon, when the river Borluit swells, the ferry service between Nimatighat and Kamalabari remains suspended for weeks. The river island remains cut off from the mainland. Sometimes we have the news of passengers falling from the ferry and carried away by the currents of the river. The oaths of the people of Majuli know no bounds during summer. Whether Majuli will be a world heritage site or not, a bridge is the need of the hour. I am not a very religious man, so I know little about the religion and the contribution of Satras in Majuli. But I know about two Satradhikars who did really commendable job in the past. One is Let Dr. Deva Goswami of Aunyati Satra who published second Assamese magazine Assam Bilasini from Majuli in the late 19th century. Another was Let Pitambar Deva Goswami who, unlike other Satradhikars, fought for the freedom of the country from British. But I can read the minds of the common people in Mazuli, including those in Salmora making art and pots, the missing brothers and sisters weaving beautiful clothes, and the farmers who cultivate mustard seeds as if spreading yellow carpet in hundreds of acres of land, and the fishermen who go out in the wee hours to catch fish in Bornoi, like the Hemingway's old man in the novel Old Man and the Sea. They are all afraid of the flood. During my several visits to Mazuli, I witnessed the sorrows of the people there. I spent several days and nights with those people in Mazuli during flood to cover flood news for my newspaper. In September 2016, Majuli was declared as a district. Earlier, Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sunwal owned from Majuli constituency in the assembly election. So, during BJP government, Majuli received better attention than the earlier Congress government. The roads in Majuli were repaired and widened, till the Assam Cultural University was also established. Before the assembly election, Nitin Gadkari, the Union Minister of Road Transport, Highways and Shipping, laid the foundation stone of the bridge in February 2016 in the presence of the then Union Minister Sarbananda Sonwal. Samudra Gupta Kaishap wrote in the Indian Express, Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi, however, preferred to skip the function with a statement issued by his office late in the evening saying Gadkari had laid foundation stones for two Brahmaputra bridges without allegedly preparing any detailed project report, DPR. The then Assam Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi said the foundation stone laying of the two bridges by Union Minister Gadkari without preparing the DPRs has exposed that the BJP-led NDA government at the center is out to hoodwink people with an eye on the upcoming assembly elections. I have never seen a central government like the present one going on a foundation stone laying spree without preparing the DPRs. Since that time, people of Mazuli Island had the dream that one day there will be the breeze. After that, Sarbananda Sunwal was elected from Mazuli to the State Assembly. BJP government in Assam has spent almost four years, but no remarkable development was seen regarding the breeze. Instead, uh, Inland Water Transport Department introduced a huge vessel popularly known as 
Roro. Unfortunately, the vessel remains without functioning most of the time in the year. The sorrow of Mazuli remains as it was. The news regarding the proposed tunnel under River Brahmaputra connecting Namaligarh and Gohpur again made the people of Mazuli aware of the earlier promise made by the BJP government in the center. They thought that the government forgot about the proposed bridge and now it is going to construct a tunnel under Brahmaputra. So there was a hue and cry regarding the issue. Congress too started protesting against the party of BJP government. However, Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sunwal gave assurance that the government would construct the bridge. Again, people have the doubts in such assurances because it may be a bait for the ensuing assembly election 2021. Now we have to wait and watch what will happen with the breeze connecting Jorhat with Majuli. Hope there will be no further politics with the breeze. It is the right of the people of Majuli.